Hi, welcome back to Laden Zolo. Well, today is uh, today. I got to finish up all of my uh, meat birds. I need to get them done. Uh, the reason I'm up in my uh, uh, shelter, which is normally used for hay, but this year I have to use it as a uh, place where I process uh, my meat animals uh, because. Uh, this year has just been crazy, and Fiona destroyed my butcher shop. I'll put a picture up so that you guys can see what I had. <laughs> and now this is what I have to do this year. Uh, next year, I'm going to be building a pole barn. So there'll be no butcher shop next year either. <laughs> so the next couple of years, I'll be doing it in here. Uh, processing area for my chickens uh, I'm going to be processing my pigs in here and doing all that now this is just to uh, clean them uh, when I actually get to the point of packaging and uh, washing them down and getting them ready to put into the freezers I do that in the house in the kitchen uh, it's just cleaner and more sanitary out here it's just uh, slaughter and butcher out here is what I do so uh, yeah so this it's a pretty simple plucker. It has a three-quarter horsepower motor, uh, a belt with a hub that I put the, the chicken pluckers on, the rubber fingers that you use in a normal chicken plucker. That's it. You just turn it on and off you go and you pluck your chickens. But you got to hold on to your chickens. It's not like one of those, uh, you know, $1,500 chicken pluckers that you just drop your chickens in and it goes around in a circle. Uh, I almost bought one, but then I was going like, if I'm going to spend $1,500 on a chicken, on a chicken plucker, uh, $1,500 is a lot of money to spend on something that you can do by hand, technically. But you know what? I decided that I was just going to do this. I had the three-quarter inch motor, or the three-quarter horsepower motor. I had the, the, the pulleys and stuff. I had to make up the, the hub. I just welded it up and uh, drilled some holes into that round cylinder that I had. Uh, the plywood I had kicking around. So this thing cost me about, oh, fifty dollars to build, <laughs> compared to fifteen hundred. So, but that's me. I, I just I like to build things that I use. So yeah, that that is probably uh, one of the most important tools that I built for chickens. So yeah, uh, I'm really not going to show you guys the, the slaughtering process, but I will show you guys how my chicken plucker works. And this is the first chicken, so I'm going to show you guys how my plucker actually works. Now with this type of plucker that I have, I still have to pluck like a few of the feathers that are very stubborn that don't want to come out, which is not a big deal. It only takes a few seconds and it's done. So yeah, that's chicken. Pretty much plucked. See, like I said, there's always a few wing feathers that just don't want to let go. But it's not a big deal. It only takes a few seconds and we'll clean them up even more once we get them inside. So yeah, done. Took about what? 30 seconds maybe? Now I'm dunking them in the water. Now they say you can do it from 158 to 168. Well, I don't agree with that. Because I've tried that and the chicken feathers just do not come off very well. So I usually keep it around 180 or 175 to 180. And 
you have to realize as soon as you put your first chicken in, the water cools down. Now the only thing when you use the hotter water sometimes is you may end up uh, turning the skin a little yellow. Which when I'm doing them for myself I don't really care. But now when I'm doing them for other people I'm a little bit more cautious about that. But we've already done all of our whole chickens that we need this year already processed enough for us so what we're doing now is, is we're just doing uh, uh, chicken pieces like we're gonna cut these birds up a lot of a lot of like all the chicken breasts are going to be skinned uh, so yeah the main reason we just plucked them now is because like our thighs and our legs we leave the skins on and same with our chicken wings but the rest of the chicken will be just plucked So yeah, it does take a little bit of time when you're using your own uh, uh, plucker that you made, but still, in the long run, for me, it was way worth it, way better than spending like $1,500 on a plucker or even $800 on a plucker. I know there's lots of people out there that go, uh, how can you actually put down something that you raise? Well, it's not something I enjoy doing, uh, but it's something that uh, you have to do if you want to be a homesteader. I mean, I just couldn't justify sending my animals out, stressing them out to bring them to a, a, a processing plant to have them done. I just, I don't know, I just don't like doing that. I'd much rather do them myself. That way I know what they're going through and it's all over pretty quick because I don't, my animals don't suffer at all. I'm very cautious about that. So yeah, in less than five minutes, four chickens are plucked. So yeah, I got uh, ten chickens uh, plucked and cleaned and now I have to package up a few whole chickens and then I'm actually going to be cutting up some. This one's a nice looking chicken, nice and clean. Uh, I think what we're going to do with this one is uh, package it as a whole chicken. So all I do is put a cut at the back part of the neck and just twist and it comes right off. Real easy. And then I just put the, the neck right back inside. Then what I use, because the chicken just come out of water, I always try to dry as much of the water off as I can. You know, to get it as dry as I can because I am going to seal them, the whole chicken. Seal them the best I can anyway. The bags that I've been using for the last 15 years, this year when I went and picked them up, they're only half as thick as they used to be. So I guess, uh, like everything else, they charge you more money and give you less quality. Because yeah, these are not very good bags anymore. Next year I'm going to have to try and find them somewhere else. But when you live on a little small island, like Prince Edward Island, it's pretty hard to source out certain things. You just can't get them here because, you know... vacuum seals it up quite nicely. The only problem I'm finding this year is, is that uh, the bags break so easy I can't really put a really good seal on them. Okay so I thought I'd show you guys how I break down a chicken. This is how I do it. I don't know if it's the right way or the wrong way but this is how I've been doing it for many many years.
reason I break it down the way I do is because these are the cuts that we like from the chicken when we cut them. Now that side, I just took the leg itself, the leg and the thigh. But now this side, sometimes I'll do it this way and sometimes I don't. This side, the way I did this side this time is, is I took half of the back, or I should come over here. Problem is I don't really want to go over the floor, it's dripping. So this side I took half of the back as well. But on this side, I just took the thigh and the leg. I disconnected it right from the joint. Now my wings. I just disconnect them right from the joint area. Because we don't eat full chickens that often. So we kind of like to break most of our chickens down. Now I leave the skin on the legs and thigh and the wings. But on my chicken breasts, I like to have them uh, uh, skinless. Ooh. I had to step away for a bit because I uh, kind of slipped my finger open. <laughs> it's still bleeding like crazy, but I got it taped up and I got a glove on to make sure no chicken or anything can get into it. Oh well, it's not the first time I've ever uh, cut myself processing animals. It's what it is when you're doing uh, dealing with sharp knives sometime and you're not paying attention. That's my own fault today. I should know better. That's one side, chicken breast. One side of the chicken breast. Skin. Now you notice I have a, a, a the back and all of this stuff. This all goes into a separate bag and goes into the freezer. We either use it to make our chicken broth or we use it as uh, uh, dog food. My dogs love it. They like, like, they like, uh, when I feed my dogs every day, I always give them some type of broth from some type of meat. 99% of the time I do. So yeah, that's how you process it. It's, uh, I'll bring it up for you and you can see exactly what I got from the, we got the wings, two breasts. Leg and a thigh, leg and a thigh, two breast wings. So this is one whole chicken plus the back, which goes in a separate bag on its own. But this is usually the stuff that we, you know, we use more than anything else. Yeah, I got most of the chicken processed. Uh, right now, I'm just uh, vacuum sealing. Uh, uh, my chicken breasts, I always skin and they're boneless. Uh, our legs we cut separately, our thighs we cut separately, uh, wings, we usually, uh, because I really like hot chicken wings, so I do a lot of chicken wings. Even some of the, the whole chickens that we freeze for ourselves, we will cut the chicken wings off and we'll save them for hot uh, hot wings. Yeah, it takes uh, much more time to actually vacuum seal them than it actually does to uh, uh, butcher and slaughter you know, to slaughter them and clean them and bring them inside. Now, when I first started doing chickens, that was quite a number of years ago, and that was before 
we realized that uh, fat was actually good for you. Because when you eat fat, it, it actually, it's about the only thing that you can eat that don't boost your insulin. So, that's why uh, we pluck all of our chickens now. One time, I never, I used to skin, skin them all, except the ones that we roasted in the oven. But now we pluck them all, and the only part that we skin is our chicken breast. So yeah, this is, uh, I think we got uh, 10 done so far today. Just finished uh, 29 chickens today. Uh, from start to finish, all packed away in the freezer, kitchen tidied up. So nine and a half hours, <laughs> long day, but got her all done. All the meat birds are finished for this year. So yeah, if you got anything out of the video, uh, maybe consider subscribing. Uh, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, and smash that like button. And thanks for watching.